And then Wednesday was Fed Day. Stocks and bonds were both winning on the open, and MBS were up 16 points, or 16 basis points. Stocks were up 12 and a half points. Bonds were flat to slightly stronger in the overnight session with minimal volatility and average volume. Then we got core producer prices month over month, which increased 0.2% on a 0.2 forecast. Core producer prices year over year came in at 2.8 on a 2.9 forecast, or 3.2 previously. Over 40% of the May increase in prices for final demand services can be attributed margins on autos and auto parts. The Fed decision was out at 2 o'clock today with the Fed conference. Fed fund futures were, over, were overwhelmingly seeing the Fed maintain the current Fed funds range of 5 to 5 and a quarter consensus seemed to be that the Fed would have a hawkish pause and they were right. The dot pot will be the focus for everything and that's what we ended up with. The Fed ended up pausing everything on the day. So basically four times a year the Fed updates its SEP, its summary of economic projections which detail the most likely outcomes for several metrics including the year-end Fed funds rate. While Powell has been clear in repeating that it is not a prediction, no one else sure is what else to do with it other than that. Today's dots, the dot plot used to convey rate outlook, showed another 50 basis points and rate hikes by the end of the year. Bonds ended the day slightly stronger territory because the change in dots was widely expected by a lot of people and already traded into prevailing levels. So basically at the end of the day, MBS were net up five basis points. Stocks were pretty much flat up four points. At the end of the day, like I said, at 99.89, that is putting us in this range right there, a very narrow range between the blue Fibonacci line, the S1 retracement line, which is a brand new line that with all the data we have, and then the 25 day moving average. So we have a real tight range of stuff here, which would hopefully provide some stability in our pricing future. Let's hope.